Good morning, YouTube. Matt and Roy back once again. This is September 8th of 2021. Getting a vlog your way today. Um, yeah, I know it's been a while. We are going to be heading out of town uh, to visit my uncle again up in uh, New York. So I figured I'd do a little bit of a vlog for you. Um, I have quite a few things I have to do today, including doing an oil change on the van. Because I never got a chance to do that last time. Um, when you when we came back, I think I put about 5,000 miles on it. And when I first bought the van, this is the uh, 01 E150, the oil was pretty dirty. So I want to go ahead and make sure that I have a, uh, a fresh oil change done on the van before we head up there. Now I'm going to go in the garage. I got to see if we have an oil filter for that van. I think I bought some extras. It's got the 4.6 liter V8. So that would be a pH2 filter. Um, well, let's see what we got here. Okay, I got a pH5. pH5, pH30. I'm going to have to look it up. I know pH2 is the Fram version. I know some of you guys out there are not big fans of Fram. Um, but if I have a filter, you know, to try to save money, I'm definitely going to use it. Um, but I got to get that done today. We'll see what else happens. Wow. Man, look at that. That shouldn't have been left open, folks. Um, I don't know what else we're going to get to. We'll see what the rest of it brings. Talk to everybody on the flip side. All right, folks. So I was looking around and apparently I did buy some extra filters last time. I thought I did. And what do you owe? They're the Wix filters. These are the best oil filters in my opinion. Well, not just my opinion. A lot of people like these. Uh, a lot of fleet vehicles use these. And I actually picked these up from O'Reilly's Auto Parts. You can see for the 4.6 liter V8, it's uh, 51372 is the actual... Um, number there let me see did i buy two of them yep i got two extra ones last time and i even bought the o'reilly's high mileage uh motor oil yeah technically you don't have to use this but i like to use the 10w30 especially in the uh, summertime because it's a little bit thinner and it tends to um to work or, i'm sorry a little bit thicker and it tends to work a little bit better. During the winter, I'll use the 5W30 or even the 5W10. Um, just because in the winter time, oil tends to thicken up a little bit. And um, it flows better. So for now, since we have a few more months at least until winter truly comes upon us, I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, 10W30. Well, I better pull it in and get to the oil change. I'm not actually going to show you guys that because most of you have seen oil changes before. But let me get to work and I'll talk to you a little bit later. All right, folks. Uh, what time we got right now? It's about 11.30 and uh, time for my morning walk. Well, let's just say late morning walk as it is right now. Picked up these glasses the other day from, um, see, where did we get these? These are from Gabe's, and I really like these because they're light, and they let the sunlight in, but they still protect your eyes from the UV rays. Um, waiting for Mom to leave. She's going to take the uh, town car, and then I can go ahead and get my van in back there and uh, get the oil change done, which... I usually don't like to let it go that long. As a matter of fact, um, I try to get my oil change intervals done around 2,500 to 3,000 miles, but I was a little lax this time with the van. Um, basically, when I bought the van, the person that had it before was taking very good care of it. Um, but I guess right before they got rid of it, as most owners do, they got very lax with the oil changes, so you could tell the oil was a little bit on the dirty side. And when that happens, you want to go ahead, neighbor's dogs are barking, uh, you want to go ahead and change it a little bit sooner than later for the next few times. And then once you get the oil changes done more on a regular basis, as it will, as you will, um, they don't have to worry about it so much, but what can happen is over time sludge can build up in the, uh, basically in the top end of the engine. Generally it starts like where the, um, the, uh, not the pistons, I'm trying to think the valves and the cylinder heads sometimes. 
and uh, it can cause a lot of problems. Not well, it just depends. So you want to get it done as soon as you can. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this vlog because I'm just yammering on at this point. Um, I'm sure some of you mechanics out there will probably correct me with that, but I know from experience that towards the valves and especially like around the um, well, just we'll say the top portion of the engine will get kind of gummed up. So talk to everybody on the flip side. Woo! Man, I'm just about 15 minutes into my morning walk and I may have to cut it short. It is extremely warm out this morning. Uh, it's probably in the mid 80s, but the humidity is up probably around 95% today. So I like to do my morning walk on uh, Wednesdays and I also look to see what people are uh, throwing out. Like my grandfather and his grandfather and his father before him, um, I'm a hoarder slash junk collector, but you know what? I've made money that way for many years, picking up stuff on the side of the road, fixing it up and selling it. And uh, the interesting story was he would pick things up like furniture, like he, I'll never forget the story. He found their antique kitchen table set on the side of the road and a dog had actually chewed the legs up, but he liked the style so much that he had a carpenter friend of, it, of his actually replace all of the legs on it. And do you know, they had that for about 40 years. And when my grandfather passed away, they finally replaced it with like this cheesy, uh, it was kind of like a glass table. I never really liked it, but um, you know what? I guess like grandfather and grandson were meshed together that way. So whew, I am sweating like a pig today. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. Um, once mom leaves, I'm going to go ahead and bring the van in and get that uh, oil change done. I'll talk to everybody on the flip side. All right, everybody. So I got the van in the driveway. And as you can see, we have these um, plastic ramps here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the van up there so I can do the oil change. Um, one repair that I did when I was upstate last year, I don't think I ever showed you guys. The van was coming apart. The bumper was coming apart down here. And I went ahead and I got some, uh, this is uh, epoxy, I think by the Gum Out Corporation. And I went ahead and I glued it together. Now I've yet had time to uh, paint it. Unfortunately, the, uh, the paint I need to get, the uh, AutoZone we have seems to always be out of it. So I'll have to order that in the future. But see, it was a pretty extensive repair. It went all the way down to the bottom there and then all the way up here. So I need to go ahead and do the oil change and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. All right, everybody. So I got the van on the ramps. I'm going to tell you something really funny. I was putting the parking brake on, right? And I wanted to release it real quick just to make sure it wasn't sticking. So I pulled on what I thought was the release and I'm like, uh oh, it's not releasing. Guess what? It was the hood release. I tell you, the blank, blank brain fog is real, but I'm going to wait a little bit to do the oil change. It is really hot out right now. Um, it is going to rain this afternoon, so I can't wait too long. So we'll see what happens the rest of the day, and I'll talk to everybody on the flip side. Oh, boy, I tell you, folks, there is so much you have to do um, before you go away. Right now, we were just doing some food shopping. Got Dad some uh, wavy potato chips. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Bake Shop Blueberry Muffins. These are actually really good. We get these from Aldi. I think they're like $2.99. You get four of them and only 350 calories. And Mom was so sweet. She got me the things that I like during the summer. I always eat these uh, bran flakes, and these are actually only 110 calories for a cup. So I'm going to bring one of those up with us. Another thing we have to do, of course is laundry which is never ending so my mind's like going a mile a minute here thinking of things we got to do so i'm going to go ahead and press on get that oil change done a little bit later when the uh, when it gets cooler outside and i'll talk to everybody on the flip side one thing i try to do is eat seasonally you guys and gals out there know that i'm always trying to eat as healthy as possible and um, right now, watermelon is in season, and you can get some of the best watermelons. We have gotten the best watermelons 
as of late. So go ahead and enjoy yourself a nice bowl of watermelon on me. Matt approved. All right, I guess we should give a Baxter and Milo update. And please excuse my uh, <coughs> messy bed because they never allow me to make it. Um, but they're doing just fine. It's about time they wake up anyway. See, I got big boy Baxter here sleeping away. He is actually getting a lot more orange on him as he gets older, I've noticed. Not so much gray, but a lot of orange, especially around the belly area. And here's Milo, sleeping very, very soundly. So they're doing good. I'm trying to get some work done. Um, this is a gateway computer that I picked up the other day uh, when we went down to Norfolk. This is actually a Gateway uh, DX series. This was actually a Vista era system. When I bought this computer, it was completely gutted, pretty much, except for the motherboard and the CPU. They took the power supply, the hard drive, the memory out of there. And it was only five bucks, so I figured I would go ahead and give it a shot. Um, they did, whoever had this before, <coughs> excuse me, i got a little dry mouth right now, replaced the optical drive. So this does have a HP LightScribe drive, which, to be perfectly honest with you, that in, in, of, in and of itself was worth the five bucks I paid for it. Got your memory card reader up here, USB ports. <coughs> if you're curious, you, I put the specifications of what I put in here. Uh, it's a Phenom X4 quad core with 8 gigs of RAM. Put a regular 2 terabyte hard drive. I wasn't going to waste an SSD on this. Just not worth it. It's it's too old. And I may be a little ambitious with that price, but you always have to ask for more than you think you're going to get. <clears throat> in the back here, I just put in, I believe this was a um, an Antec or was this a Rosewill? Yes, it was just a cheap Rosewill power supply, but that's fine for this build. It was in good shape. And I put in a um, NVIDIA GeForce um, NVS 300 card in that with one of those DMS 59 connectors. You know, the ones I like so much. <laughs> yeah. LOL. I know UXW Bill can't stand these. And the reason that I use these is that allows me to do a uh, dual monitor setup with them. And I'm actually going to do that with this. Uh, for a display lately, I've been using this Dynex 43-inch um, plasma TV that I picked up on the side of the road. Yeah, you can see it's seen better days. It's got lines going down the screen. Um, but I will show you the specs on this computer really quickly. And by no means is this a fast system, especially with the uh, SS without an SSD, just conventional hard drive. But... You know what? It gets the job done. This would be decent for somebody to use as a school system, uh, maybe as a secondary computer. Even with that um, graphics card, you could still watch YouTube on it. Uh, it does 1080p. Not great, but it'll do it. Definitely not 4K. So if you guys and gals are out there and you go to a thrift store somewhere, see older computers like this, they can definitely be a bargain. Give you an example. I probably have mm, all of maybe, I would say, $30 invested in this. And I bet you I can make 200 with this. So just giving you guys a little tech portion here. I know everybody seems to like that. Um, I don't think I showed this to you last time, but this is another TV that I picked up off of the side of the road. Uh, this is a Sony Bravia 43-inch TV. It's an older one. It's 720p. It's not even really full HD. Um, I, it amazes me what people will throw out, though. Um, this TV, actually, somebody had put the tape on it like you normally would with a CRT model. Um, but this one, honestly, I took a shot on it because it looked like it was in good shape. It didn't even have the remote. Usually, if they don't have the remote, I don't even bother picking them up. Um, but I took a shot on this one because it was a Sony, and the picture quality is amazing. And what I actually do is I use a Roku box for streaming purposes. And as you can see, she has got a beautiful picture. Well, I am definitely going to pause this now. I'm rambling on too much. I'll talk to everybody on the flip side. All right, everybody. So I got the oil change done, but... I realized that the air filter that was in the van is absolutely filthy. 
Um, I don't know if you could see that or not, but this looks like this was dated sometime around maybe 2014, so it is definitely time to replace this. So I have to head out and get this replaced, but the oil change is done on the van, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to everybody a little right, bit later. Just picked up the air filter, for those of you that are curious, it's a STP SA8039, and that's for the 4.6 liter Ford V8. Uh, we have, uh, this is an auto zone near my house, and uh, sounds like an ambulance going to Bell Harbor, so uh, I know we got a lot of wind noise. I got some more shopping I got to do, so I'll talk to everybody a little bit later. All right, everybody, that's it for today's vlog. Um, the oil, although it wasn't super dirty in the van, it was definitely ready to be changed, so I'm glad I took care of that. Hope everybody enjoys this vlog. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some more uh, done when I'm upstate. Not making any promises because we're trying to spend time with uh, my relatives. So please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.